I am so fortunate to have the position I have in working with people who choose to be here every day, and that of course is our volunteers. Last year they gave in excess of 112,000 volunteer hours. We're in an outlying area and um, we were able to provide heart monitors uh, for emergency services. Everything that we need to be able to respond to, we have in place. We were able to buy two transport ventilators for Emerge, which is huge for this area, right? We were able to get a patient lift and we were able to give money to education. So to me, that's the biggest accomplishment. We have people coming here who don't know how to find the hospital, then they don't know where to park. So to see a friendly, happy face and somebody saying, hello, can I help you? And they go, oh, thank you so much. I find that very rewarding to volunteer down there, just to relieve a little bit of their stress and to give them that friendly smile. So even the smallest job makes a difference. And it's not even so much that we put out the magazines, but it's, it's the nice little encounters with people on the way. The volunteers in patient services look after the patients. We uh, help them with their lunches, uh, comb their hair, clean their glasses, get them drinks if they need them, hold their hands, try to keep them happy. They're all very grateful for the care that they get in this hospital. They're all um, appreciative of, of what the staff and the volunteers do. We have big, big hearts, wonderful hearts. And uh, the auxiliary, I think, proves that by what they do and the success that they've had over the years. We're just everywhere, and uh, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of those people go home. But a lot of them also stay in the hospital. And if they do, they find volunteers wherever they're sent, doing whatever it takes to make their stay in the hospital a little pleasanter and a little easier.